So, I will start this video by saying, this pastor, you are a yeah man. Pastor Ebuka will be, you are a yeah yeah man. You don't have, you are a lie lie pastor. That's what I will start by saying. For those of you that don't know this pastor, this is the pastor of Zion Outreach, one very big, massive church, right? So, this pastor now, this guy, his name is Sijeli, this guy has spent 40 days inside prison in Kefi. 40 days. Today, making it 41 days. Why? Because say in talk say the pastor and fake pastor. For that reason, the pastor make sure say they lock the guy up. So you are depriving the guy's children of their father. You are depriving the guy's wife of her husband because of your ego. Was somebody mashed on your ego? Eh? That is why. And Nigerians, you see the problem. This is a very big problem. A lot of innocent people, they inside Kujay prison, different prison in Nigeria, because of one big man, they vex. Because of one rich man somewhere, they vex. They'll just do, they'll go to a somebody's side cell. That's what they do. And it's so sad that the police are failing, the justice system is failing. Because how do you lock somebody up for defamation, for crying out loud? Why? He said the pastor a fake. He said the pastor the collect members money. He said offering when the pastor the collect a fake. In prophecy a fake. In this one a fake. So what? So what? So what? Now let's even leave the law. Are you not a pastor? Is this what Jesus Christ will do? Eh? Pastor Ebuka? Is this what Jesus Christ will do? You people practice everything. You collect that and offering and everything. But you don't practice the one where Jesus Christ tell you. Would Jesus Christ detain somebody for calling him fake? You know how many things the Pharisees do Jesus? So the guy say he's a fake pastor. Say hey, you do this or you do that one. The guy fire anybody, no. The guy do fossil entry, no. He still money, no. Defamation of character. Now we're go detain person. That is a civil matter for crying out loud. You're supposed to sue him. You know what I'm saying? Suleiman do Alima. Alima talk all that in this cover, post different one. Hey, hey, hey. At the end of the day, what happened? The guy sued her because she could pay 30 million naira to him. You understand? I'm not saying Abbas Suleiman is a good man of God or all that. But see the way the case was handled. Because he knows that that's defamation. Even if I come and say now, say you're the five person, now defamation. If I say you're the thief, now defamation. You cannot go and detain me. You cannot detain me. You carry your lawyer, I carry my lawyer. If I cannot prove it, you sue me. I collect money. And that's why I thank God. That's why I thank God for that time. The people were under my case for SCID against Toto DK, Yabo, John, and Sam Clef. That's why I thank God. Because this is what they do. When they see somebody that speaks against something, now, all, now only the guy knows what he don't see. Let me call you fake. You go detain now 40 days, depriving the guy of, depriving his children of their father for 40 days because of your ego was, was stepped on. It's not fair. If you are a true man of God, go and release him. Or I go add more, join that defamation by saying your father Nyash and nobody go do me anything. Yes, they can't lock me up now for defamation. They'll carry me, they'll go sue me. You understand? If my lawyer still defend me, they defend me and come up from there. You cannot detain me. For what? With justice system, they talk about that one. That's not our laws in Nigeria. And I don't know why police they took their hand for all these kind of things. Now, say a lot of bad, bad police just despoil, just despoil police work. There are a lot of bad apples in the police. Now, for people that don't know what the guy did, look at what he did. Wonderful people, very good. It is for us to show everybody that he's a liar, he's a criminal, for saying he can heal anyone. Let him come and prove it. He said he'll take us to court. No problem. We are waiting for his lawyer. Let his lawyers come. They will show. Even the guy won't say, he won't say too much. You know, we call your kind person fake, school for banner. Sometimes they say the person is fake. Nigerian self, no, I too much. But then again, if you want to follow the law, this is defamation of character, bro. You can't lock him up. You know, just they use you to influence for the wrong thing. It's so sad. So your children now, your papa know they go what? Your mama know they do what? Your mama go they cry, they look for me. Come on. And you're a man of God. Shame on you. Very dark man. From the first place, you insulted the uh, prophet Bukobi. You said manner of things. And you think you can come out and talk to anybody you want anyhow first and foremost you need to go and remove all your dirty news on social media or you need to go back and get a job because that job that you was doing before 
is more profitable than this one you're doing. The job you're doing is to masturbate your dick. Masturbate your bula. When you masturbate it, you solicit for help on social media. That's the only activity you can do that people will listen to you because that is what you're good at. You are jobless as I'm looking at you. You have no... You have nothing doing. You are just an opportunist. Who is looking for celebrity, you will drag. As soon as you drag those celebrity, then they will say they are making you famous. Not only that, that bola business and that bisexual thing you are doing because you sleep with woman and you sleep with man. That's your concrete lifestyle. That's what you do. Now, let me bring your empty brain back to what you said that Udela did not do anything. And I know that you're a very hopeless man. Because where I come from, our, there is a parable that says it's only a tree that we see that they want to cut him. Or, I don't know how to describe it. That, that they want to cut it and that tree will remain there. Is only a tree, but a human being will always fight and protect his or herself. And you made you made another statement that Ebukobi is a, a Christian. Uh, why would uh, he's a man of God? Why would he arrest uh, Udela? You are. I thought you have a common sense. I don't know that there is no sense in you. So because Ebukobi is a man of God, Ebukobi will watch Udela to slaughter him before you and people will come and say oh man of god uh, see you this see you where no those days are gone those days that you guys use this manipulative words that said oh you're a man of god you're not supposed to do that let me tell you as far as ebuka live on leaving this off ebuka have to protect himself because i know i'm not wise but still not that it's wise so with all this on our geology with all this on our, on our suppressing works it's not gonna hold water anymore okay read from genesis to revelation go to from genesis to revelation that is no place that god did not use fire and brimstone to fight his enemies even moses even elisha many prophets even many people they fight and fought with everything they have Nobody said because they are Christian, they are prophets, they are this and they are this. All this manipulative system is not going to work again. Anyhow, we don't want we go match on a fire to fire. Now, let me bring your stupidity because I know that you lack common sense. It's only all this Omar shower that you do to pay for and they pay you money. When you do it and they pay you money, those are the people that will listen to your stupidity. And let me give you this warning. If you want to live long and don't want to end like Udela, your 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 co accomplice. If you don't want to end like him, stay clear from Abu Kobi. Stay clear that anything that has to do with Zion. Don't say that I did not shoot this straight straight bullet to your brain. Stay. If you want to continue to confuse Muzans, if you want to continue to be playing all this your hanky panky. Stay away from Abu Kobi. Or you who the case will be worse than your case. Go and mark my words. You want to you want to come and tell us what is civil and what is not civil. You will be the one now to tell us what is civil and what is not civil. Did you read law? Did you read law? What school did you attend for you to come and tell us which law and which law that uh, uh, that they're supposed to use and handle them? You that you said that you have connection and Udela is your friend. Why don't you use that your connection and do justice for Udela? Why are you here ranting like a stupid fool you are? Why are you here ranting disturbing the, disturbing the atmosphere? Disturbing the whole peace on social media? Why can't you use your connection and do something? You have very, I'm warning you for the last time. Stay clear from Ebu Kobe. Oh, you will, I mean, you will have a very hot soup to contain it. And that soup will burn all your lips and your... Do you think it's uh, about the Tonton Dike and all that other rest that he survived it? We are earthquake. Ebu Kobi is earthquake. Stay clear from Ebu Kobi before you be consumed like a, like a brimstone. Don't say I didn't warn you. You are very useless. You are very hopeless to address Ebu Kobi the, same, the way you address Ebu Kobi in this video. 
you are a very hopeless, incompetent, jobless, hopeless man that massage his molar to make money. A very useless man that peels his nose, peels his hair, peels everywhere to, to attract his fellow men to be making money. You are a very hopeless man. There is nothing good that will come out of you. You know, it's all these people that you see on social media. Look at, that is why I said that you don't have directions anymore. Somebody will sit down and listen to a buffoon like you. And listen to a massage therapist that massages Bola. You're a very hopeless. Social media, you're a very hopeless man. Social media is a place where a shower will be coming to give a responsible people advice. Social media is a place where people like you will be coming to give people that went to school, intellectual people, people that are very, very profound, an idiot and a massage animal like you will be coming to give them advice and they will sit down and listen to you because social media made it possible. You are very hopeless. Now let me direct your brain because I know you have missed your GPS. Let me redirect your empty Mola massage brain. Let me bring it to your attention. Now look at I want you to watch this video. You said because you are not a good man. You are this. That is why uh, Let me now listen because you are a buffoon. Let me come and threaten you and say that I will come at you. And I will shoot police. If any police come to me, that I will uh, I will tell my boys they will shoot and kill everybody. Not even only because be this idiot to threaten the police. Threaten to shoot everybody. Even told us that he has a gun in his house. And his boys on the streets that he's ready to do anything. And you have the audacity, you have the temerity, the impudence to come and talk rubbish. You must be out of your bowl of brain. Stupid, useless man that has no future. Guys, I'm not even guys. I am a Tag that useless, very dark man here. Bring him to this place. Let me let me minister him. That is Mola brain. I will massage you, I will give it to you. And Daddy, Daddy, turn the bomb will give. Do you think everybody living such a useless lifestyle that you obtain? Now nah, listen. Okay. In fact, you don't get policeman where you go. You need to say you won't come my house. Eh? You want to tell me that day. Before I go and get me that day, I'm going to get me that day. Then they will throw you Okay. I will make sure they sack you. After they sack you, I will put you on blast. Okay. Okay. I will put you on blast. All the people who you offend, I then go after you. Buy you, buy your family. Did you hear you? This is one out of ten because I don't want to waste time to start playing different videos. This is one out of ten. Go to court and tell them that you are defending Udela. They don't they don't the strike that your useless mouth that you, you use to, to insult a Bukobi. And you think is you guys think is a is a is a is a is as usual business as you guys will come out and emphasize and say all manner of stuff and everybody will get away from it. Stay away from it for the last time, or you will have many experts to contend with. We will break that this your local wings, and we will know that your that your connection you said you get to reach. Stay away from it because is a bottom fire. Ebukobi is a sharp object before you get yourself injured. Stay clear from Ebukobi. Make that your goal no, no use rope. Tie your tie your tie your tie, tie, tie your brain or tie, tie where you they breathe. Stay clear from Ebukobi. Make thunder no strike your generation to death. Call you very dark, very dark man or very dark nigga. Stay away from Ebukobi. Make thunder no fire you. Idiots.